Hi, my name is Harun Rashid. I am part of the development team at AGI, uh, responsible for uh, communications and radar modules uh, of SDK product line. I'm going to introduce our latest developments in the current release of SDK uh, radar, which is uh, features of multifunction radar. Uh, multifunction radar uh, can do uh, multiple tasks simultaneously. For example, it can track an object, it can uh, scan horizon 360 degrees, or it can observe uh, certain regions uh, uh, for activity. So this is now uh, can be modeled in SDK. Uh, we, are, we have also enhanced it uh, with uh, additional capability, which is bringing it towards the uh, multifunction radar behavior uh, control uh, of models. Uh, the latest feature is addition of waveform switching capability for the beams of uh, the multifunction radar. In this case, I'll show a simple example. So just looking at the properties of multifunction radar, uh, you can have multiple beams, as many as you need. At the moment, uh, multifunction radar will model phased array antenna systems at abstract levels. Uh, it uses pencil beams as beams of a phased array antenna. Each of those beams can be configured independently using different beam width or the gain for that beam. Each can also have uh, waveforms attached uh, to that beam. So the waveforms at the moment are defined in SDK's component browser. And there are examples of built-in waveforms. For example, uh, you can have uh, waveforms which are designated for uh, short-range tracking, medium, long-range, or ultra-long-range tracking. Uh, a user can copy or duplicate those uh, uh, waveforms. It can, uh, for instance, uh, and edit those. And once you have copied it, you can then uh, edit the attributes of those waveforms and save them. And once you are saved, those are your personal waveforms, which you can use in any SDK scenarios, or you can share them with other users uh, as you like. And you can create as many uh, as different types of waveforms as you need. The main attributes of those waveforms are uh, the frequency, the power, PRF, which is pulse repetition frequency, or the pulse width. And, and, and so you can change any of those as you wish to create uh, new waveforms. Uh, so once those waveforms are available to you, you can then use them uh, within your SDK scenario. In SDK, the current behavior modeling starts with the option of switching these waveforms based on the range of the target. You can have uh, waveforms which are used for long range scanning or for uh, short range tracking. So you can define the ranges uh, as what is meant by short range, what is meant by long range or ultra long range. So here is an example of this table in uh, SDK where it shows that 20 kilometers is defined as a short range, 200 kilometers is defined as a long range. So this is up to the user based on the type of radar system you have. You can define these limits for each of your 
uh, ranges uh, when the radar should switch uh, those waveforms. Once uh, those are defined, you can uh, select at each at each beam what waveforms you want to use for each of those uh, ranges. So in this case, we have already added as an example that short range rectangular or long range rectangular and, and, and their respective limits over which those waveforms will be used uh, here. So once these are there, uh, it, the radar will then track the target. It will then choose the appropriate waveform as uh, the target changes its, its range. So I can show you an example. Here uh, we have a, a radar system which is tracking an aircraft and aircraft currently is starting out at a uh, long range of close to 260 kilometers. So if we do an analysis, uh, you, we will see that, okay, we are trying to track this aircraft. We do a report and on that report, uh, we will see that the, this is the range of that target and on the left side you will see the waveform which is being used at each time instant along with the data such as signal to noise ratio, uh, signal to noise ratio for uh, long term integration, uh, the probability of detection uh, as uh, the, the range of that target changes. So the, the point of interest here is that as the rain changes, we can see the radar is detecting that change in range and it is then making a choice about a selection of appropriate waveform for that range. So in this case, uh, it's using ultra long range waveform, long range waveform and down all the way down to short range uh, waveform when the range of that uh, target is less than kilometers, uh, 20 kilometers because that's the range we originally set up as our definitions of long, medium and, and, and short ranges. Also, we can see the impact of those uh, instances here we can uh, look at a graph is to see how the performance of that our analysis, uh, how the performance of those uh, waveforms as those are switched, uh, it changes. In this case, the horizontal gra axis is the time. So at starting time, target is still far away. And we can see that we are able to track it with better than 70% or 0.7 probability of detection. And it keeps on increasing as the target comes closer and closer. But as, the, as it is within the range, and we can see that it, it, it all of a sudden drops because the radar switched the waveform. Uh, maybe it was not an appropriate time to switch the waveform or maybe we need to update our waveform to have uh, our slightly more refined attributes. So in that case, we can see that there is an all of a sudden there is a big drop in probability of detection. It, it drops down to uh, close to or less than 0.5. So based on that, as the radar continues, and, but other, otherwise, we can see that as the radar is tracking the target, as it comes closer and closer over time, the probability of detection is good. It is close to one, but at the same time, we are seeing that the impact of switching the other waveforms is having 
and a, a better impact on the performance of that radar system. So this shows us how we can start uh, uh, defining our rules in SDK, how we can then use rule-based uh, strategies in SDK. This is a uh, simple example where we're just using a range-based selection. Uh, as we keep developing SDK in uh, future releases, uh, these will be enhanced and we will continue to use uh, a more rule-based uh, strategy selection approaches. Uh, in, in, in this is an example of starting uh, this feature in SDK. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, go to our website at agi.com or uh, call our tech support for any further information or uh, any help. Thank you very much for your time and watching. Thank you.